happy solstice and welcome to Women Make Music. Tonight's presentation will be a unique journey of righteousness, consciousness, and inspiration. Messages of deep reflection and self-discovery. We're going to sing some songs. <laughs> <laughs> we ask that you walk with us on a journey of celebration and enlightenment. We ask that you look deep within your heart, nay, to your very soul, to find the common thread of being woman with the other women here tonight. Look around. You might get lucky. <laughs> Do you remember your first love? Your first kiss? Better yet, your first important kiss. Do you remember? Looking out on the morning rain oh, I used to feel uninspired find yourself in a situation where you knew very clearly what you wanted. You knew very clearly what would make you exceptionally happy right now. Let's ask Lucille. Yeah. 
That was harmonic dissidence. It's an ensemble of the chorus of women who give extra time and come in for extra rehearsals and uh, want to do something a little different and a little special. If you ever want them to perform at any of your events, parties, or otherwise gala affairs, just uh, go to crescendosings.org, contact the chorus, and they'll be happy to come and perform for you. Um, and though, so earlier we sang Natural Woman, and we didn't plan this, but as many of you know, Jerry Goffin passed away this week. Jerry Goffin is Carol, was Carol King's partner and husband for a while, and then continued to be a partner. And when I was a kid, when I was, well, I wasn't that young when that song came out. <laughs> but when I was younger, <laughs> that song came out, and it was just such an amazing song, you know, and I was just so taken with it. And I was... Um, Later, when I went to my first gala festival, Gay and Lesbian Association of Choruses, I heard a women's chorus sing that song, and it just blew me away. It was a totally different song when your kids helped me name it than it was when I was 14 and didn't know what the hell to call it. Now, when I was 14 or how uh, eight, <laughs> when that song came <laughs> out, I was really fascinated and really kind of irritated when I found out that a guy wrote the lyrics. What's that all about? I mean, we all love Carol King, right? Yeah. Whoa, that was a big manly yes. <laughs> Gotta get an amen, brother. Amen. <laughs> well, we loved her. Uh, but then I start thinking, well, maybe the world might really be a little bit better and a little bit uh, easier to navigate if most men felt like a natural woman. Amen. Okay, that was a little less amen. -ish. Anyway, we honor uh, Carol King, but especially remember Jerry tonight, and we appreciate the lyrics, even if it was written by a man. Thank you. <laughs> One of my favorite books is Color Purple by Alice Walker. A wonderful line, everybody want to be loved. A sing and dance and holla, just trying to be loved. That's what Suge said, and Suge knows.
suffering. I've been up that lonesome road and I've seen a lot of things going down. Oh, but trust me, no long life's gonna run me around. So let me tell you something, sister. Remember your name, no twister. Gonna steal your stuff away, my sister. You sure ain't got a whole lot of time. Oh, shake your shimmy, sister. Cause honey, the shook is feeling fine. You know, Sage was probably a little over the top in the beginning. <laughs> surprise, surprise. But she wasn't completely wrong when she wanted to invite you to celebrate what it's like to be, to stand with women and make music and, and feel our voices rise together and, and song in one voice. You know, women have always been singing. You know, we sing in the house, we sing in the yard, we sing in the fields, we sing in the street when we have to. The thing about singing together and coming together in one voice is that it, it, it blends, it, it erases the differences between us. All those things that get in the way, if we can find one message to sing together, then the racism and homophobia and all those isms that separate us just tend to, to go away if we, if we let ourselves give in to the power of singing together. So I want to tell you about Crescendo's vision. You hear about their mission a lot, but we don't talk about the vision. Crescendo's vision is to give voice to the desires and dreams of all people who seek to coexist in a world of unity and kinship. We do that as an inclusive women's chorus committed to the performance of music that inspires, educates, and unifies. But wait, there's more. We strive to create a unique voice that reflects the personality and lives of our members. To exemplify social diversity through education and entertainment. To seek the abolishment of all forms of oppression. To lead in creating a positive public image. We are a chorus, first and foremost. Beyond that, we are, in every sense of the word, a family. Outside of the rehearsal, and singing and performing together, we as a chorus and family of crescendo, of all individual paths, and that we support our community and our community at large. <coughs> women make music, women make
In the maze we find them still. I will take you to them. You take your young ones. May they take their own in turn. And by our lives, be we spirits. And by State Representative Charles Van Zandt, a Republican from Keystone Heights, had this to say about the American Institutes for Research, the company that will develop and administer the new state education tests. These people that will now receive $220 million from the state of Florida, unless this is stopped, will promote double-mindedness in state education and attract every one of your children to be as homosexual as they possibly can. <laughs> Apparently, the AIR provides extra information to school districts that request Thank you. 
You have no idea. Where are mine? Kids in the audience. Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah, that was Harmonic Dissidence again, telling you about the... Thank you. And, uh, uh, you know, that, the shoe thing is... The, we had to order those online, you know. And there were people who said, I'll never stand up in those. I'll never wear them. I can't wear them. I'm not going to wear them. And the very person who uh, left her socks on during the... <laughs> was the one who said, I'm not wearing those. There's no way. I'm, I mean, she's almost going to cry. First day they came in, what do you think happened? Put them on, got up, go, ooh. <laughs> Just walking around, being all happy. So uh, that's some of the stuff that we do, but here's some other things that we do, and I'm going to introduce Nancy Greenlees, the president of the board of Crescendo, to tell you about that. Good evening. Love you, too. <laughs> Thank you all for joining us tonight. It is truly a privilege to sing with these amazing women and to serve as president of the board of directors. <laughs> Last year, the women of Crescendo met to discuss our upcoming year and the ongoing vision of the chorus. That process resulted in a decision to spend this past year getting more involved in outreach and service to our community. We decided to unite our voice with the hundreds of voices that are serving survivors of sexual assault, domestic violence, poverty, and injustice. We decided that the culmination of this year would be this concert and that we would donate a substantial portion of the proceeds to an organization in our community that serves the needs of women and children through expanding opportunities for education and resiliency. I am proud to announce that we have selected the center as the recipient of Crescendo's first Community Connections Award. In the 1970s, Helen Gordon Davis championed the efforts of grassroots organizations dedicated to the empowerment of women. Originally called the Women's Survival Center, the Center for Women emerged on the cutting edge of services for women and girls struggling with addiction, poverty, isolation, and gender-based violence. Now known as simply the Center, the organization has continued to expand its outreach to include services that touch the lives of thousands of our neighbors and friends. I understand there's a representative from the Center here this evening. Present this award to Deborah, who is a so board much. member representing the center. Yep, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Following the program, the women of Crescendo will be in the lobby, baskets in hand, to accept your contribution to our Community Connections Fund to be given to the center. 100% of your donations will be awarded to the center to contribute to their ongoing mission of providing hope, knowledge, and peace of mind through services that promote independence and strengthen our community. Thank you very much for your continued support of Crescendo and our 23 years of performing music that inspires, educates, and unifies.
So it didn't occur to me that when we did the whole shoe thing that someone would actually be wearing them. <laughs> and walking upstairs in them. All these women are in awe of you. So what we'd much rather do, if I'm right, and I know I am, is we'd rather take off those shoes, find a nice lake or river, get in a boat with our loved one, kick off our shoes, and sail away into bliss. so 
someone who can see a different path and embrace change? Me? I hate change. <laughs> I buy the same pair of work shoes in two colors. Basic black and lesbian brown. <laughs> I have them resold at least twice. <laughs> I've been driving the same car for 12 years. I've changed jobs a few times, but only when the writing on the wall turned to neon. <laughs> Get out! And I hated it every time. But then, after about six months into the new job, I said, every time, Wow, am I glad to be out of there. Relationships? Yeah, I've had a few. And stayed until the writing on the wall turned to neon. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> and then, Six months later, well, you know the rest. <laughs> My point is, we resist change. But if we're diligent and honest with ourselves, we embrace it. We learn from it, and we grow. But this doesn't happen all at once. Sometimes, it's just a matter of getting through another day. The day you left is still clear in my mind It was four years ago Closure I can't seem to find I know you've moved on with your new love and your life When I hear those sweet love songs How they cut through like a knife It's over But I'm still here Sometimes I can't see through my own tears Everyone says move on, it'll be okay But I know I have to get through one more day As time goes by, I think of you less But when I do, I become such a mess how could you leave when you promised forever now I doubt if I could love again ever it's over but I'm still here some days I can't see through my own tears everyone says move on It'll be okay, but I know I have to get through one more day. It's over, but I'm still here. Some days I can't see through my own tears. Everyone says move on, it'll be okay, but I know I have to get through one more day. Yes, I'll move on. I'll be okay. I believe in love. It'll happen again someday. It's over and I'm still here. Most days I'm strong and I face my own fears. I've moved on. Yes, I'm okay, and I know I will get through one more day. It's over, and I'm still here. Most days I'm strong, and I face my own fears. I've moved on. Yes, I'm okay, and I know I will get through one more day. I've moved on, yes, I'm okay, and I know I will get through one more day.
And all of the ghouls come out to play. And every demon wants his pound of flesh. But I like to keep some things to myself. I like to keep. Okay, love lost, love found, <coughs> hope, healing, moving on, I get it. But I'm here to talk to you about change. Actually, I want to talk to you about the change. <laughs> yeah, we're going there. <laughs> you know, no disrespect, but your whole life you grow and you learn and you evolve and blah, blah, blah. Nothing prepares you for the change. <laughs> it's like you wake up one morning as a different person. I mean, your, your mood is different. Your body, well, what was here is now sort of drifted down here somewhere. <laughs> and you spend your time trying to figure out where you left your glasses. <laughs> Or why do they come into this room? <laughs> oh yeah, and then once you remember why you're in the room, 
you got to go pee for the 12th time today. <sighs> and the outcome of that depends <laughs> on timing and zipper traction. It ain't pretty, folks. But from one middle-aged broad to another, fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy night. more you wanted to know about us than you really needed to. So um, one of the things that we uh, did this year, um, oh hold on, sorry about that, one of the things, I can't remember squat, thank you. How's your cha-cha? another problem. Either you forget everything or it just goes like a cumball machine. Boop, boop. <laughs> so let me take a different tag. One of the things we did this past year that we really uh, loved, it took us about 18 months to put together and a little funding from the Hillsborough Arts Council, thank you much, was to bring in a, a professional singer-songwriter, Amy Carol Webb, who um, has done some work around the country working with women on how to find their voice. Women who don't sing 
normally. Women, just, women in crisis, women in, in prison, and women who, who face struggles. And they, she comes together and, and, uh, and helps them create music. So we brought Amy Carroll Webb in to work with us with some fantastic women from the spring of Tampa Bay. And at the spring, so what was great is that we, we, um, we got ready for them and, and uh, we, we went over there on a Friday night and we, we Vivica, Vivica, are you here? No. Oh, she works really hard. She was the, the, she's the lead chef at the spring. So she just basically said, okay, go ahead. And we cooked lasagna and uh, fe you know, fed everybody and had a great time. And then the next day, about eight women came over. Well, it started with one and then two and then three, and then about eight. And the, and the last three came in and said, we're just here for the free lunch. <laughs> okay, that's fine, no problem. By the end of the day, this amazing process had happened, and we had created uh, eight of them and about six or seven of us, and we had created a, a, by gosh, fantastic song. And all of the women that came for the free lunch stayed and sang. And in fact, I think Mindy Murphy, the CEO of the spring, has some of her team here tonight. Where are you? Stand up, wave around. And I'm, I'm going to ask you to indulge me. The show's going pretty quick, so you'll get out a little early. So let me, I want you to indulge me. I want to read to you some of the words. Now, the women helped write the words based on some facilitation with Amy Carol Webb. And then, and then also picked the melody. And, and, it, and I can't explain to you the magic that happened. As we all sat in the room and, and as stories started coming out, as people started telling why they were there. The spring is, as you know, a shelter for domestic violence, survivors of domestic violence. And as the women at the, from the spring began to talk, uh, our women, crescendo women, began to share stories and experiences and survivor uh, connections. And by the end of the day, it was just a, a, a fabulous event that will, I think, I know has changed my life. Here's some of the words. Sometimes it's in darkness, sometimes it's in light. It's never the wrong time to save your own life. You just keep trying until finally you're free. You say, nothing and no one, nothing and no one has control over me. I'm a strong woman, becoming a stronger woman. I once was broken, now watch me grow. I found my power in my own soul. Watch me rise, watch me fly, now watch me go. This is my story, this is my truth. I did it for me and I did it for you. You don't have to suffer. I'm living proof. You're not alone. You'll make it through. I'm fierce. I'm wise. I'm brave. I'm wild. I'm amazing. I am tired of waiting for all of my dreams. No one can hold me down. No one can stop me now. It's not up to you. It's not up to you. It's all up to me. We're going to sing that chorus for you real quick. a strong woman becoming a stronger woman I once was broken now watch me grow I found my power in my own soul watch me rise watch me fly now watch me go. I bet you can sing it. Come on, try. I am a strong, becoming a strong, becoming a strong. I once was broken. I once was broke. Now watch me grow. Now watch me grow. I found my power. I found my power in my own. Now watch me go. Thank you. Isn't that fantastic? We're going to, Amy's going to mix it, and we're going to take, and we also recorded that day. The women that, that wrote this song, record, we, we made a recording. We had a little built-in studio, and we, we made the recording, and, and Amy Carol Webb's going to record it, and then she's going to build us into it, and we're going we're gonna to get the song arranged for choir, and we're going to sing it all over the place. So, um, and, and no, not, not much more talking, but uh, just uh, I want to ask you a question. If, if you have, um, 
If you have made a relationship with someone, a friendship, a lover, a wife, an enemy, because of your connection or interaction with crescendo, that somebody's in your life and that would not have been in your life if you hadn't had a connection with crescendo, stand up. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, come on. Y'all think I don't know, but I do. So you met people because of being here together and singing together, and you have relationships now that are lasting the rest of your lives. Thank you. You can sit down. That is the reason that, is the reason that uh, this women's chorus has to continue for the next 23 years. That's why we do the things that we do in the community. We find, we find strength, we find power, and we find connections. Last story. A very important number in my life is the number three. I was my mother's third pregnancy and her first successful to term pregnancy. She got me. <laughs> I, was, I have three siblings. I was in the third grade before I finally consented to wearing glasses. I was baptized three times, twice in water, once in the Holy Spirit. Church camp. Girls, it's all good. <laughs> I had three marriage commitment ceremonies. Just saying. And twice before, I've stood before an audience and said, I am stepping down as the director of Crescendo. This is the third time. For me, the third time usually is the right time. I finally figure it out. I had three majors in college, so it took me six years to get through. <laughs> this is the third time, but it's the last time. It's been for 17 of the 23 years. <laughs> I know you keep saying that. For 17 of the last 23 years, I was the director of Crescendo. Not consistently, because there would be a five year here, here, and a couple years off, and then five more years. This recent time for the last eight years. And it's time that somebody else gets to have the good time and the fun and the, and the absolute thrill of being a part of this group and leading this group through music and, and through inspiration and through doing the things that we do. So I want to thank you. I want to thank them. And I want you to connect with us as we remind ourselves that sometimes I didn't change you for the better, but we did change you for good.
Tonight we have found love, lost love, recovered from love, redeemed ourselves with love, and pray that we're not too old for love. We have sung about love that changes hearts and hearts that change the world. We started this night looking for love, and we're going to send you home this evening with an everlasting love in your hearts. Good night. And good blessings and happy solstice. <laughs> Thank you.